प्लीज गेट रेडी फॉर ए डिक्टेशन ऑफ ट्रांसक्रिप्शन नंबर 129 फ्रॉम सर कैलाश चंद्र मैगजीन फाइव सेकेंड्स स्टार्ट सर दिस बिल हैज मेट विद सच जनरल अप्रूवल थ्रू आउट द कंट्री दैट इट डज नॉट स्टैंड इन नीड of any long introduction from me the lok sahayak sena has been functioning during the last 18 months it has aroused great enthusiasm it is now public knowledge that our aim for the present is to train a lakh of people every year the scheme is for 5 years and we mean to do this by means of holding some 500 camps in a year we use 10 months of the year avoiding the monsoon seasons and we hold these camps in different parts of india in practically every state one camp was held in jammu and kashmir and we have also camps down south everywhere with huge areas which are generally close to community welfare project centers sometimes the state governments have represented and emphasized that in order to rouse public enthusiasm and to awaken public consciousness we should hold these camps in other centers also in these 18 months somewhere about a lakh and 50000 people have been trained the response has been very fine and everyone who is between the ages of 18 and 40 is welcome people generally come from the rural areas and all castes and communities are represented the camp is for one month and the conditions under which the trainees live are military conditions free ration is given and free uniforms are given and when the camp is dispersed and out of pocket allowance of rupees 15 per head is given to the trainees i have visited them and i imagine some honorable members might have seen these camps too the conditions under which the trainees live are just like military conditions and they lead during that one month a fairly strenuous life military training is imparted there is physical drill there are marches rifle shooting and all that to those who are not literate an effort is made to give some instruction and particularly instruction in what i may call the art of making a good citizen of india our aim is to utilize this one month to create a sense of leadership in every trainee because it is not merely our purpose to give them military training but to make them better citizens and to make them take 
an active part in the life in their own village as the house knows throughout the country side there is a wave of enthusiasm flowing people are most anxious to help themselves there is the shramdan movement there is a desire to build roads and dams and to spread the gospel of education and what we require is leadership in the village itself a sense of discipline in the village and we are hoping that this training that we impart apart from the purpose that it may serve in times of need whenever there is an emergency in peace time also the training will be useful and it will rebound to the benefit of the country at large all this costs a lot of money the annual expenditure is a crore of rupees and for 5 years if we proceed on these very lines it will be rupees 5 crores this bill has become necessary because we wanted to have some rules and regulations and while these trainees were living in a camp life they had to be subjected to be subject to military discipline and therefore we wanted to put it on a regular basis the bill as it stands commits government and commits the parliament to no limitations i wish to emphasize this because if the movement spreads and if there is a general desire in the country throughout the community for military training if there is such a general desire for expansion and if parliament approves of it then within this very bill it will be possible to extend the number from 1 lakh a year to 2 lakhs a year it will all be a question of money it will be a question of the provisions to be made for training purposes i wish also to emphasize here that we are giving one month's training the house will be aware that this movement for giving military training has had its origin during the last 3 or 4 years on some scale the house knows that apart from this lok sahayak sena during the last 4 or 5 years effort is being made to give military training to various classes of our people for instance we had in our schools and colleges the ncc movement the ncc course imparts military training and from among them boys are sent up to the military academy at khadagwasla near pune similarly we have opened the auxiliary cadet course and for the purpose of providing military training to the people living in urban areas and employed in industrial concerns mills and factories we have 
the territorial army stop